Hello, this is Stapadan, and Samadan, and Shadowdan, and they are on a journey to make gold. So last time with Stapadan we were looking at some other materials and what we could do to compare them and maybe buy things and convert them into something else and looking at the relationship between different materials. Today we're going to take that a little bit further and we're going to carry on with our spirit of harmony. First let's go check the mailbox and see how we've been doing with our gold flips at the moment. Now it's been an interesting week for flips. I made a couple of big gambles with some various bits and pieces as you'll see in a moment. We'll see if they paid off. Well, okay we've got 34,000 gold here. Now as you can see I have a large number of purchases of monolite ore which I reset the market on. Now that we've got a little bit more gold we can start doing things like this. I also bought a lot of lightless silk with the same anticipation that I could sell it on for higher. That one didn't pay out quite so well because the price has dropped even lower than my average buy price. And Deep Sea Satin is another one I got for 1 gold 11. I'm going to see if I can shift that for a higher price. Now let's take all the expires out first and see what money we've got. You can see here, I've literally gone right down to the wire. 1,300 gold left. But I knew I had some gold coming in, so I wasn't too concerned. So some of that monolite ore, it looks like we we're able to shift it again. There's a stack of 1,000 there, 1,000 there and a little bit more there and linen cloth we managed to shift some and some rune cloth that's useful and then the moats of harmony uh, we had been buying those particularly cheap and a few other bits and pieces oh 34,000 gold there we'll take that okay let's list all this back on so the monolite ore we're sticking on another thousand of that our average buy price is five gold it's now going for 20 gold so that should be quite nice if we can keep that price up very good lightless silk is the other one here which we are below minimum price. So let's just have a quick look at that one, see if there's anything we can do at this point. It all depends on the quantities really more than anything else. So we bought them for 12 gold 68. I was hoping to reset the market up higher to more like the 14 gold it was, but the 14 gold is here. There's a whole load more scattered throughout here down to 11 gold 50 at its lowest point here. So I've got a feeling the prices are falling a fair amount. We have Zygor now added, and it's telling us here, prices are falling, you may want to wait, which is kind of a good reminder here. So us buying those for 12 gold, maybe well, there's two options here. We can either try and get rid of some of this at a small loss and then just try and reset the market when it drops lower, or we could just carry on waiting. We could either buy up more stock or we can wait for someone else to reset the market, perhaps. Someone else resetting is less likely, however, looking at this. If I wanted to reset myself, what's my price here? 12 gold 68, so we'd have to come really all the way up to this 1350 if we wanted to reset the market. And again, that's a big price of uh, 87,000 gold, so I don't think that's a good idea here either. So I would say, looking at the situation here, I'd be better off cutting my losses and trying to sell it here at, say, the 1150 or the 1199 mark and cut my losses on that before it drops any lower. So we have 1,108. I'll keep a little bit on me at the moment. I'll just put 800 on for now, just so that we can shift some of those. And I'm in a similar situation with Briarthorn. We keep on trying to reset the market on this, and even though we've sold some for six gold on average, it's not that much really compared to everything else. We might be better off trying to just Smart average buy price is 436, so 475 might be okay here, just as a small breaking even once we take into account the auction house fees. So that clears out some of that stock. There's some minor bits here, but Spirit of Harmony is the next thing we want to look at here. So we're going to look at this in a bit more detail and look at the relationship between Spirit of Harmony and all the other materials that can be bought with Spirits of Harmony. So looking at Spirit of Harmony in itself there, we have some at 210. 250 is about the core price here. We've been buying some, our smart average buy price for 203. We could maybe try and settle this price at 250 as our ballpark here. Anything below 250 we could buy and try and reset up here. If we were to do that, we already have our shopping operation. If we go back here, turn off the commodities flipping and have a look at just the Pandaria materials. So this is comparing Spirits of Harmony and Moat of Harmony. So again, 21 gold here for a moat times that by 10 and that should be your price of Spirit of Harmony. So we could, in theory, buy some here at 21 gold, everything, anything under 25 gold, and then buy up anything Spirit of Harmony at 250 gold here. And then our average price will be somewhere less than 250, but the market value is coming in at 250. How much would that cost us to buy those? 
So that's 20,000 there again. That's doubling the amount of Spirit of Harmony we have, but it's taking our total gold out a considerable amount. We might just go a bit more conservative here. The 210 here is a jump here of 24 gold, so that's 632. We'll take those, and these that are on at 21, we can take those. So now we're having a price in our head of about 225, 230 is the kind of the kind of number we have in our head for our Spirits of Harmony and our Motes of Harmony. So if we have a look at the Mara board that I shared last time, so what I'm looking at here is the vendor here, Crystal, and seeing what you can buy for your Spirits of Harmony, and then looking at, okay, what is going to be the price for each of these things, and maybe we can have a look at doing a shopping operation to take into account these things and see if we are above or below this ballpark figure, and whether in the future we might look at the comparison between them and what might convert to Living Steel, which is also a popular item. So basically, Spirit of Harmony and Living Steel are the two popular items for Pandaria. And what can we do in order to compare the prices across the board for this? So let's take a few of these key things. We don't need everything. We're looking mainly at maybe the ore here, the Golden Lotus, the Windwall Cloth perhaps, Exotic Leather, Pandaria Herbs, Coast Iron Ore, definitely we want to have a look at that and see what kind of prices we have there. So first I'm going to grab everything and put it into one Pandaria Materials group. Now we have those already in various other bits like herbs and ore and things like that. So I'm going to just grab these and move them into this section. And then I can rename this one ore and then I can go to the herbs. I'm not too, well, only, I'm only really concerned about the Golden Lotus, but we'll take all of them for now. We'll take the herbs. And then the cloth, we'll just take a look at this in a little bit more detail. So all we have the ghost iron ore, kyperite, black trillium ore and white trillium ore. Now our spirit of harmony is going to be our core factor here. We look down here at the, we don't have a material price listed here. We have a smart average buy price telling us 203. If we just make sure on TSM under our tooltip settings. Now we don't have a material price here because we've not got anything com that can use the Spirit of Harmony so it's not coming up in our tooltip. If we could make something with the Spirit of Harmony then we'd also have a mat price there as well. We currently just have our smart average buy price. Well, we have engineering, let's have a look at engineering. Now, we have actually engineering so that's useful. Let's have a look here. We go to TSM groups and look at our reports and materials. And we'll look at, now this is interesting, we don't have a material price for Spirit of Harmony because we don't have any professions that make use of Spirit of Harmony, so we can't actually see it in our list here. Which does limit us somewhat because we can't then take set a price for it. So in order to get access to that we'd actually have to pick up a profession that uses Pandaria Spirits of Harmony. So currently we have leather working, we'd have to go and learn our Pandaria leather working to be able to get a good handle on this but we can make use of this without a material price we'll have a look at everything else so what we'll have a look here is a shopping operation and see if we can do some comparisons that way so we have our spirit of harmony it currently has a min buyout of 224 we have a smart average buy price of 203 now we also have a smart average buy price of motes of harmony of 23 gold let me just go and pick up those that we've just bought and then we could get a reasonable average buy price here so Moat of Harmony now has a smart average buy price of 21 gold 20 and the Spirit of Harmony has a smart average buy price of 203 gold so we're looking at both of those looking at about 200 and so if we take a, f a figure of something like 225 gold here as our ballpark figure that we're thinking of for our for our Spirits of Harmony at the moment so what we can do now is we can use a shopping operation to have a look at some of these things. So let's take, for example, Spirit of Harmony and the Moat of Harmony. So if we make a Moats versus Spirit of Harmony group here, I'm going to put the Moats of Harmony into this group here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a shopping operation based off the price of Spirit of Harmony. So we're going to take this shopping operation and we're going to remove that and we're going to make a new operation. Now if we had a material price from uh, Spirit Sahami we could probably use that but what I'm actually going to use here is I'm going to use 250, uh, 225 gold as our base figure that we're thinking of. 
we're going to keep the math functions in here so we can always change this to something different as our spirit of harmony price changes but we're sticking with the manual price for the moment and we're going to divide this by 10 which is our mote of harmony comparison price so now when we go over here and we'll also do another one whilst we're here operations groups we keep these all in if we make a subgroup here and we'll call this group comparison versus uh, spirit of harmony and then we'll put the moats in here and the spirit of harmony we're also going to put the spirit of harmony in as well so we're going to pop that in there and this is going to have a base price shopping operation so we're going to look at this and okay we are looking for any spirit of harmony we're going to make a new operation we're going to look for any spirit of harmony versus our price in our head which is 225 gold so that's our new operation here i'm going to give that a fixed amount so now if we go into here and we do a shopping operation if we take all of this off and just do the comparison versus spirit of harmony what we're looking at here is the percentage versus each other so looking at the spirit of harmony it is currently at 224.99 which is effectively a hundred percent of the figure we're looking at which is why this is returning us a hundred percent the motes of harmony are coming in at 23 gold 20 so the percentage is higher 103 percent so that means it's more expensive than the price of the, the spirit of harmony themselves so now when we go back in and we have a look and we have a look down here golden lotus is worth two two golden lotus is worth one spirit of harmony so we then go into our group here and we have the herbs here so i'll drag the herbs into the comparison one now i want to take one out of here so i'm going to make a subgroup here I'm going to add in the golden lotus here. I'm going to prop that in. We don't need the herb, any of the other herbs there, so we'll leave those out. And then the golden lotus operation, shopping operation, we're going to add in a new one here. Oh, no. <laughs> we need to name it that instead. And this is going to be 225 gold divided by 2 is our comparison here. Now when you do a comparison against each of those, we now have Golden Lotus is coming in at 204 gold, which is almost double what it should be, because Golden Lotus should be half of the price of 225, so this is not a good investment right now. Let's add some more in. Okay, so that was a few of the all added in. We run a shopping scan for each of these. So now we are coming at some things that are slightly cheaper than our Spirit of Harmony price. So the Ghost Iron Ore price here is telling me 9 gold, which is, which is less than the price you'd get your Ghost Iron Ore by trading it in with Spirit of Harmony. So this could be something we want to look at. Obviously this is our base base price, so 9 gold is the basic there. This is going to be also one of the other drivers because you go up from ghost iron ores into other things in order to get your living steel. So this is also a figure to keep in mind of. You won't necessarily be getting your ghost iron ore from the Spirit of Harmony. A lot of people will be going out and mining that and that's where that's going to come from. But in terms of comparisons, we can now see them as a list here. Let's go do the other ones whilst we're here. I'm going to rename a few of these things because I think I've got a better system of renaming these now. Okay, so now we've just renamed these a little bit more sensibly. Divide by 10, divide by 2, divide by 20, and divide by 5. And put the appropriate materials and things we might want to look at and see how they compare versus our Spirit of Harmony price of 225. So let's have a look now and see what we get. Okay, so versus the price of Spirit of Harmony... The spirit dust at 30 sil silver is obviously very, very cheap here. The windwall cloth is also very cheap here. Ghost iron ore. So these are all things that you can go out and farm. The ore is slightly harder to get hold of. The black and the white trillium ore is why the price is slightly higher here. And the golden lotus is also higher here. If you had the tillers farm, you could probably go and get some of these more easily. So these from Kuiperite upwards are the things that are more easily obtainable. 
and therefore their price versus spirit of harmony is, is less. Okay, so what does this actually tell us? Well, looking at this, we can see, okay, well, we could get our black trillium ore and white trillium ore from our spirit of harmony and sell it for a higher price. The same with the golden lotus. And then we could look at this one step further and have a look at the black and the white trillium ore and can we turn that into something else and what would that price be? So going back and looking at our diagram here, so the ghost iron here, you can smelt the ghost iron into ghost iron bars and that can be used by an alchemist to transmute the trillium bars. And we don't have access to an alchemist at this stage, but we do have a miner who can smelt things. So maybe we could smelt the trillium based off the black and the white trillium ore here. So we could look at the price of trillium bars here and try to see, okay, is there something we can do here and what kind of price would they be by comparison? So let's start off at least, let's have a look at the trillium bar and see the relationship here. So we have the trillium bar here, which is 360 gold at the moment. Now, now from looking at this, we need two of each to be able to smelt the trillium. So it's two times the price of both of these items here, so which currently are at 65 gold. Now, if we did a bit of uh, maths here, we could actually think about the Spirit of Harmony price and whether we got our trillium that way. But let's look at it this way first. So we're looking at the price of each of these, which thankfully are uh, both the same. So if we look at the price of both of these, that will be 65 times 4 will be our price of our trillion bars, which is 360 here. So 260 versus 360. But if you remember, we were looking back at our Spirit of Harmony, and our Spirit of Harmony price we manually put in at 225, because we can effectively get our Spirit of Harmony, or have previously been getting our Spirit of Harmony slightly differently here. So our price here of the black trillium ore and the white trillium ore will be based off our Spirit of Harmony price if we got it from there. So looking back at this, we get five per item there. We went back to our calculation and we go, we've got 225 gold for our Spirit of Harmony. Divide that by five gives us an actual price of 45 gold for our black and our white trillium ore. So we could actually make 20 gold and put them on the auction house just by that. Or we could take that 45 and times it by four and smelt that into trillium which would cost us 180 gold. Wishes to you. So 180 gold versus 360 gold, which means we can go from Spirit of Harmony to black and white trillium or smelt that into a trillium bar and we would make ourselves a little bit of gold that way just through using our professions. And again, with an alchemist, we could do things differently and we can also look at living steel as well. Then I'd also factor in things like, okay, which one's probably got the biggest profit margin here and which one has a good sale rate. The region's sale rate for trillion bars is actually quite low at 0 0.06, whereas the ore itself seems to be going a little bit higher, 0 0.1 and 0 0.1. So maybe we want to take that spirit of harmony and spread it into different things. This is the kind of thing that is really useful in a spreadsheet as well you could start putting in these prices of all your different items and say, okay, what's the most effective thing I can do with my resources that I have available to me? But having a shopping operation like this at least allows you to compare a number of items versus the, the relative price that you can get them from, in this case, a merchant. But there'll be other things in terms of like being able to smelt one into another. So over time, it's quite useful to start having these numbers maybe written down on a piece of paper saying, okay, my Spirit of Harmony base price is 224. I'm going to look out for any moats that are a tenth of that. I'm going to look out for any black or white trillium ore that are less than 45 gold, or I'm going to post them on and make myself a few gold profit on that. We can turn these things into other things quite easily. And it's understanding this relationship and being able to work out what you're going to do here. For simplicity's sake, I could simply just be turning around and flipping my Spirits of Harmony and trying to sell them for a little bit extra, going from the 225 up to 250. As a miner, I would probably look at, okay, could I go out and get myself some ghost iron ore, or could I buy some and turn it into something else by turning this ghost iron ore into ghost iron bars, and those ghost iron bars may be making use of an alchemist, it would be really useful at this point, looking at the relationship between these, to have an alchemist with transmute mastery as well for the living steel, so that we can look at all the different relationships between these. This is maybe a slightly more complex example, 
But that doesn't matter that we don't have everything here. We can still look at a few things and try and understand where the relationships lie and if there's anything we can do, even if we don't have all these professions. And a simple one in this case is going to the Spirit of Harmony vendor and making some black and trillium, black and white trillium ore and selling that on the auction house for a 20 gold profit per ore. Obviously, Stavadan here at level 10 is not really going to be going anywhere, so we'd have to send this one over to Samadan and he can go over to Pandaria or even Shadowdan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these Motes of Harmony into Spirits of Harmony. We've got this down on our Span Key 8, so I'm just going to spam that. There we go, we've got 101 Spirits of Harmony. So what I will do now, we've got a few things expired here as well, we'll pick those up. Oh, we've got some sales as well, fantastic. We did manage to sell some of that Lightless Silk as a little bit of a loss, so we'll go through and just pick that up for now. And then sending wise, let's send over, let's split this stack into a neat 100. And we'll send that to Samadan. Let's get Samadan on this. So we'll send this one over. So we'll leave you for now, Stabadan. We'll see you soon. Hello, Samadan. You've been busy here in the Stormwind auction house at the moment. Let's go have a look and see how you've been getting on because we left you with a whole load of things that you were trying to sell. Let's go have a look and see where we've gotten with those. This was from our little mining and gathering session from earlier. So let's have a look. So we have a few things that have been sold. We've got the Spirit of Harmony that's been passed on by Stabadan. We've got some spam here I'll just get rid of. There we go. So we've sold only a few of those. So it was worth, what was it, 10, 20,000 gold, all the stuff we had. That's still going on the auction house at the moment. So let's take this Spirit of Harmony, we'll grab this, we'll keep on relisting everything there and we'll see how we get on with that. I've just been using a mass sell group here to sell all of these. I've literally just popped all of those through that we collected up and the operation for that mass 200 dB market, which is literally just throwing everything on 24 hours, post cap of 200 and we're going for maximum between 40% db market or vendor sales we're just throwing all of that on and seeing if we can get any sales that way but as of yet not a great deal so we'll keep on relisting that let's head on over to pandaria so we can go through the portal room come on samadan we're off for a slightly different adventure at the moment just where we can pass on some materials and things so around here is the jade forest which is the closest one we've got and we can actually i'll pick up a flight point whilst i'm here just in case i might need it there we go and we're going to fly through pandaria pandaria is such a beautiful beautiful area we chose not to level through this though we are doing the legion storyline here we could go and start picking up some uh tea leaf that you can see here on the map we've got a lot of uh ghost iron ore that we could possibly go pick up. We're actually heading over here to the Vale of Eternal Blossoms. I'm going to meet the vendor over there. Here we go, the Shrine of the Seven Stars. And down here with all the orbs around them is the friend that we're going to speak to now. So this is Crystal. And you, we have our 100 Spirit of Harmony that we can turn into some various things here and try and get some decent sales on them. We got some various things here that we saw earlier with Stavadan were at an inflated price, so we're looking at Golden Lotus, we're looking at White Trillium Ore and Black Trillium Ore. So the Golden Lotus has a slightly less 0.07 sale rate versus the White Trillium Ore and the Black Trillium Ore, which is 0.11. So I'm going to buy, we have 100 here, let's split this equally amongst these. So let's go with, say, let's buy 60 Golden Lotus, which will cost us 30 spirits of harmony and then we'll go with another now this will be times five so we'll need a hundred is 20 so let's go with 200 for 40 and then we'll go here and we'll get another well, we can't do 200 now let's do the maximum uh, that's 150 of the black trillium ore so there we go we've got 150 black trillium ore 200 white trillium ore and 60 golden lotus so we'll head on back to a mailbox and we'll send that back to Stabadan. there we go now we'll see if we can convert that into some more gold and we're diversifying our markets there okay whilst we're here we might as well pick up pandaria mining which is back over in the jade forest so let's head on back over near where we went we need to go slightly to the north 
to find them. That way if we ever do decide to come round here and go for some ghost iron ore or kyperite, we can always go and grab that. If I minimise this and bring up the map, then we can see that. We want to head over just south of the little river you can see here. Here you are down here, the greenstone quarry. So the mining trainer here. I'd like to learn Pandaria mining. And there we go. When we get to mining skill level 75, then we'll be able to make the trillium bars. But if we have access to an alchemist, then we'll be even better equipped. If we were to have a look at this, there's a lot we could do quite easily. The herbs are not worth quite so much as the ghost iron ore. So we'd be probably be better off focusing on ghost iron ore more than anything else. There is also trillium here as well. We could possibly pick up. It's probably just do a little loop around here and see what else we can pick up. We could use roots for this as well. That's another option. But as we're here, let's have a look and see what we can do. We might as well pick up these as well, the herbs. We could do with some dark moon fire water if we're going to do this in any capacity. And with that, we've reached level 42 already. Or another thing that would be useful here was mist piercing goggles, which will help me find extra ghost iron nodes. That's something we can look at buying a bit later. A Zandalari War Scout, they're supposed to be quite useful. I'm not sure if we could actually uh, attack one here at this point. It is 41, maybe. Let's give it a go. These drop things for reputation. Ah, this could be bad. Vengeful spirits. I think we might have to evade this one. I think that one might be out of my damage range here at the moment. Let's carry on with our farming instead. So with a little bit of random flying around, really not concentrating too much at all, but following wherever the nodes are on the map, we're able to get at least half a level just through doing that. So much more so than the actual worth of the items here. We've got Ghost Iron Ore, which is a total value at the moment, uh, 288 gold for 875 each. The rain poppy, that doesn't sell quite so well, that's just three gold. And the, the green tea leaf again, seven gold for that. So though the herb's not worth so much, but the ore, still 288 gold. And it will sell quite frequently as well, 0.25 sale rate. We could also try to keep hold of that, maybe turn it to ghost iron bars, as we mentioned before. So there are options here, certainly. But it's quite an easy, nice, relaxed way to just go around a zone and level up at the moment. So we're currently at level 42. So we'll take some of them back to our rest area, back to Stormwind. We could always put these on the auction house, add them to our list of mass selling stuff. There we go. So if we head into our group here, and under mass sell, we've got the rain poppy, green tea leaf, and ghost iron ore. We'll add those straight in. And the operation, I'm going to change this slightly. It's currently at 24 hours. I'm going to change this down to 12 hours because we're not going to list things. If they haven't sold by then, then we're going to relist them on. So let's just pop to the auction house and we'll run a post scan of those. Really not too concerned with the prices here. We're just going to throw them on and see what happens. Okay, just a short visit today, Samadan, but we'll leave you here for the moment and we'll come back to you soon. Goodbye for now. Hello, Shadow Dan. How are you doing today? We've left you making lots and lots of leather gear at the moment. Let's go check the mailbox and see how you've been getting on. We currently have 6,200 gold on us and we've had some more sales, quite a few more sales. Let's take these expires out and we can see quite how well the desolate leather and desolate scale gear has been selling. This is the item level 87, requires level 50 gear for a fresh new alt and you can see we've had some good sales over the past few days, averaging between 400 and 900 gold, it looks like, depending on the item, totaling up 23,000 gold in sales. So that's a fantastic start. Let's pick up all of that gold. Now, in terms of restocking these, the best way to do it is to go through and do it manually at the moment until TSM gets updated with some crafting operations where we can put these optional reagents in at the moment. A nice way to look at them in my bags is just to see what kind of icons I've got and see if there's any gaps in there. Say I've got here, there's a waist guard missing and there's some leather leggings missing. So if I go here over to this side and I make myself a couple of crafters marks and then I'm looking for desolate leather leggings. Set that to item level 87 and the other one here was a waist guard and reset the new items there. I can see the icons all paired up together. I can also go through and have a look at each of these that we have. 
two on the auction house already. We still have some on the auction house actually, looking at that. So some of those four total, two on the auction house. As long as we've got some of everything, now there's only one of those on the auction house, the gauntlets. So let's make another one of those. Looks like we're missing some penumbra thread. We'll have to go and get some more of that. One of our never-ending costs at the moment. So we can get up a number of thread from the tailoring district over here. So we'll go over here and grab that for Shadow Dan. Here we go. We can't get it quite at super cheap price, but 855 is our current price we can get it for. So we'll buy 50 of those and then have a look at what else we might be missing there. That was the gauntlets we had one of. Waste card we've got four of, and then check the scale, checking our inventory in the tooltip here, just so that we know we've got plenty of everything. Four of a lot of these, then the arm guards and the treads we can ignore. Okay, so we've restocked on the ones we were missing, and we'll run a post scan on that. So all going for some reasonable prices there. It's worth our while, certainly. We're not bothering with the default gear for a few 50 or 100 gold profit. We're looking at these, which have got a better profit margin because they the deposit fees on these are quite high. So we need to soak those up. But we're quite nice here. We're at 28,000. So we've got 72,000 total. Shadow Dan has 28,000 gold and Stavadan has 42,000 gold. So the next things here would be to carry on leveling up our leatherworking. Where did we get to with our leatherworking at the moment? We are at 70 of 100. Let's see if we can learn any more from the trainer. Back into Oribos. Now again, we've still got some leveling we can do here. We are currently at level 52 with war mode still on. And here we go back to the trainer. So we have a few things extra. We can make the shade bound, shadow scale. And we can start with the heavy desolate leather now as well. That's going to be interesting. We'll grab those. Then the next lot is up at 75. Let's have a look at our... Can we actually make anything at the moment with what we've got here? So we've got gauntlets are currently... Oh, heavy desolate leather here is looking like it's a skill up at the moment. What's the cost for these if we look at TSM? So this will cost me 22 gold. It's a slight loss in gold. Whereas this will cost me 209 gold, and this will cost me 187 gold. So it's cheaper to make more of the heavy desolate leather out of our current desolate leather, even for a slight loss there. We can always make good use of it later. So let's start with that whilst it's currently orange anyway. We need to get at least 75. There we go, we can learn a couple more things. Now looking at those... The Shadebound Helm and the Shadow Scale Helm have a plus three skill up, which is possibly more effective than doing these with the Heavy Desolate Leather. The Shadebound, if we jump down here, if we have a look here, so 22 gold, this is going to cost us 409 gold. So technically it is still cheaper for us to make the Heavy Desolate Leather if we're looking at skill points here. It would be cheaper to, for us to make three of these versus one of those. But look at the profit margins on these. Now this is not the Crafters Mark II gear. This could be just the Crafters Mark I. Whether we can sell this item level 151 gear is possibly unlikely. We'll have to see. We'll have to test it out. We've not had any experience of any sales with that. But the profit margins on these are looking promising. So we could maybe try one of these. Well that's even cheaper to make with an even bigger profit. You never know. Maybe one of each will help us out here. One there, and one there. We can try them out. We can obviously buy a few more bits and pieces now. We can go to the vests. There we go. Lots more added in, but I think we can leave it there for the moment. We'll carry on with our item level 87 gear because that's our big bread and butter seller at the moment for reasonable prices these other ones are nice to have but i think we may need to get ourselves up to the crafters mark ii level 60 and doing a lot more work before we can see some profits here and then of course we've got the whole legendary crafting market as well to possibly look at but for now shadow dan is in a great position he's doing very well with his leather working so we'll leave you here for now shadow dan and we'll pop back to the stabber dan and put that Trillium Ore and the Golden Lotus back on the auction house. Goodbye for now, Shadow Dan. Hello again, Stella Dan. Let's go put those other things on the auction house that we had. Let's grab all of these. 
and see if we can increase our gold by upcycling our spirit of harmony. Just move this over here for the moment. So we haven't we won't need to make a group for this just now. We'll have a look at this. 204 gold at the moment. We'll go with that. And then we've got the trillium ore here. We'll post that. We know that's a 20 gold profit. So we'll post that on. And the black trillium ore. We already have one on at 65. Let's go put some more on. There we go. Okay, so hopefully that will pay off. We've diversified our Spirit of Harmony into three different things. So that's pretty useful. So thank you, Stabadan. We'll see you soon. Until next time, happy gold making.